In this video, we will see the operational part of BPL Patient Monitor Ultima Prime. Reliable patient monitoring is very important during critical care. Ultima Prime Monitor provides reliable and efficient monitoring solution in various clinical environment. Ultima Prime intended to be used for monitoring, recording and to generate alarms for multiple physiological parameters of adult, pediatric and neonatal patients in the hospital environment. The Ultima Prime monitors and displays ECG, respiration, SpO2, NIPP and temperature. Ultima Prime supports optional parameters of invasive blood pressure and ETCO2 or anesthesia gas monitoring. The monitor has 12-inch color LCD TFT display with a wide viewing angle providing high resolution waveform and data presentation. This is the power button to switch on and off the monitor. This is the trim knob used for navigation and selection purpose. This is the menu button. Press this to access the menu option. This is the NIBP measurement. Press this button to start and stop the NIBP measurement. This button is to silence or suspend the alarm. This is the freeze and record button. Press this button to freeze the waveform. If the monitor has an optional recorder, then press and hold this button over 2 seconds to print the waveforms. This is the trend review button. Press this button once to see the trend graph and the trend table. This monitor stores up to 168 hours of trend review. This button is to exit to the present menu and return to the main screen. Let us look into the left side of the monitor. You can be able to see the sockets for ECG, SpO2, NIBP and the temperature. If the monitor has invasive blood pressure and the ETCO2 enabled, we have the sockets activated for you. On the back side of the monitor, you can be able to connect the power cord in this socket. This is the Ethernet port for central nursing station connectivity. This is the equipotential terminal to minimize the risk of voltage differences which needs to be connected to the equipotential ground. This is the RS232 connector used for the maintenance and upgrading of the monitor by service engineers. Battery can be installed through this port. Monitor has a backup of 60 minutes. With the use of additional battery in the extra slot provided, the battery backup can extend up to 120 minutes. The LED indicators of the monitor front panel indicates whether the monitor is being used in the battery or the main power. Now, let us look into the screen layout. As you can see on the display, measured numerical data, waveforms, patient info, alarm areas are displayed on the screen. In patient info area, it shows the patient name and the type of patient. Alarm indicating area for physiological and technical alarm. These alarm can be visually monitored through this alarm light with different color to indicate the alarm priority. In the waveform display area, you can see the waveforms for ECG, respiration and SpO2. In the parameter display zone, you can see here the heart rate, NIPP measurement, saturation, respiration and temperature. Setup of each parameters can be accessed through this menu button. In ECG setup, you can see here, you can change the waveform that needs to be displayed over the screen. ECG gain can be changed accordingly. And the other settings like HR source, BP volume, alarm setup and the other functions can be set as per the requirement. In NIBP setup, mode of measurement that is auto, manual, start can be selected over here. In SPO2 setup, you can access to these settings. Similarly, in respiration setup, you can change scan speed, gain, source, apnea alarm and other functions. In temperature setup, you can change the unit of measurement and alarm setup. Now, let us see how to admit the patient with the name. Press the menu button. 
navigate to the new patient and click. This will terminate the monitoring of the current patient and initiate the monitoring of the new patient. Then navigate to patient info to maintain the patient information. Monitor has different modes of display. You can select any mode as per the clinical requirement. You can access the trend data in this trend review. Monitor can store up to 168 hours of trend and 1000 NIBP measurement. In alarm review, you can browse the alarm events. Monitor can store up to 1800 alarm events. In arrhythmia review, you can browse the events of arrhythmia along with the waveforms. In alarm setup, you can configure all the alarms for different parameters. Let us look into the accessories connection part. This is the way to insert the ECG patient cable to the socket. These are the 5 lead electrodes that has to be connected to the patient as shown in the pictorial representation. This is the way to connect SPO2 cable to the monitor. The accuracy of SPO2 reading depends on the use of correct sensor based on the patient type and its placement. Emitter should always be on top of the finger. Here we will be connecting an IBP host tube. It is important to select the cuff size that is appropriate to the diameter of patient's upper arm. Wrap the cuff around the arm making sure the artery marker is aligned over the brachial artery. Make sure the white line is reaching within the range limit. While attaching to the patient, if the white line is not reaching the range limit, kindly use the larger cuff in size. If the white line exceeds the range limit, use the smaller size of cuff. Here is a temperature probe connection. The other end has to be sticked to the patient body to measure the temperature.